yeah, I think it's time to get caught up. Hello and welcome back to Outside the Box. Yes, I've gotten a little bit backed up lately. All of my efforts were put into releasing The Hound in a timely fashion. I mean, before Charger Dude. And I do have to say really quick that I am astounded with how well that video did. Within the first two days of release, it had three times as many views as Shockwave. So obviously people are hungry for Hound and I can't blame them. And I am currently prepping up for the next custom slug. Just pretty much in the planning stages for right now. And I do have some aftermarket parts coming in, so I'm waiting for those too. But while we're waiting on that, let's open up some boxes, shall we? But no, we're not going to open up every single box. I think I'm going to pick out the three oldest boxes that have been here for the longest and save the rest for another video. This would just be way too much for today. <laughs> All right, let's start with this uh, Walmart box, which I totally forget what's in these boxes. They've been here for a while. Let's see if we can all find out together. Ah! Oh. It's my black box. Um, is this even a transformer? I don't think it is. Oh yeah, it is a transformer. Two transformers actually. So Walmart has had this promotion of bundling up two transformers together for a pretty decent price. I don't remember how much though. And these are two that I never really got. Never really had plans to pick them up, but the price was pretty good. So might as well, right? We have both Autobot Point Blank and Autobot Peacemaker in this one box. I wasn't aware of that. And Crankcase. Crankcase is obviously a retooling of skids. So I'm pretty familiar with this mold, but this guy is completely new to me. I think it has like a mini con with him, right? All right, let's get these guys opened up. Very nice, simple bundle packaging. It's just this black carton behind them. Very nice. I mean, it gets the job done. All right, we're gonna open up um, Point Blank and Peacemaker. I don't know which one is which. We're gonna open them up second. Let's do a uh, crankcase first. I'm not even familiar with the character of crankcase. I don't know if it's um, a G1 character. I think it is because otherwise I would have said from the whatever universe crankcase, right? Okay, nice looking guy. And oh, he's got quite a hefty backpack. There we go. It's a very interesting feature how the front part of the vehicle completely comes off to become an accessory. I'm not sure if I've ever seen that before on any other Transformer, but it's interesting. And this section here falls down. I don't know for what purpose, we're about to find out. And the weapon looks pretty nice. It's a clear piece, but it's got like a smoke tint to it. But at the very least, there's not really many hollow sections. So that's good. Yeah, some parts of the body for this guy definitely look different from Skids, which is good. I do appreciate that. I'm having a hard time being able to tell what's the same, actually. Even sections of the vehicle seem to be a little bit different too. Very nice detailing, very nice paint job. I do like the color scheme, the overall blue and black for the character. It's weird to have a um, little bit of orange for the visor and the face, not a combination that I don't think I've seen before. What's kind of striking though is because the backpack is entirely clear plastic, the top part that's painted black is super glossy. I don't know if I'd be able to recreate something like that if I was to repaint this guy. I would definitely have to use some kind of a top coat to finish it off. That is really good. But some very nice detailing throughout. And yeah, very different from what Skids look like. Overall, the shape of the character does look similar to Skids, but enough changes for him to be his own character though. And looking at the instructions, I guess that front part of the vehicle also becomes a weapon. All right. That is a big ass weapon. Yeah, that's a big honking weapon he's got there, but it does look quite striking having a weapon like that. It's almost like something you see out of the 90s or out of like maybe G2 Transformers. Not too bad, I do dig it. Oh, and I'm just noticing now that's a very nice chrome blue that he has on the chest too. That is an awesome paint job. All right, let's check out vehicle mode. Oh, he's a Decepticon. I didn't realize that. That is an overall very nice looking vehicle mode though. And again, the clear plastic that's painted in black, super glossy, that is impressive. But it's a very big difference to just the standard black plastic though. It does not match one bit. That would be solved with a repaint though. And we get some more of that blue chrome paint in the front as well. And some more in the back too, with a very nicely molded and spare tire too. I really like that. Kind of wish Hound had that, but <laughs> that's okay. Overall, a very nice looking vehicle mode though. I do like that very much. And of course the weapon goes on top, yada, yada, yada. Don't care about that though. But here, I did it. It is a thing that you can do. All right. 
On to the next one. All right, I'm guessing that the actual character is the one named Point Blank and the little guy is Peacemaker. That's what I'm going to assume anyways. Okay. He's an interesting looking guy, that's for sure. Is this guy Armada? I don't think he's Armada, is he? Because I know nothing, nothing about Armada, but I'm sure somebody will tell me in the comments. Thank you very much. Ah, there we go. Come here, little guy. There you go. All right, nothing major here, I guess. Some pretty impressive paintwork for the little guy. The way they have those blue bits picked out in the chest and um, the face painted, that's pretty impressive, not too bad. And as far as for the transformation, I'm not even looking at the instructions, I know. Uh, I guess you just kind of like tuck them in <laughs> and he becomes his weapon here. Sure, that's great. All right, let's look at the big guy. Yeah, again, not familiar with this guy at all. It's a, it's an interesting design, that's for sure. The red with the black with the, what is this, teal blue? Good combo, nice head sculpt. It looks like it's um, a pretty unique transformation for a transformer vehicle. Not your typical transformation anyways. There doesn't seem to be a lot of paint, but it's not like he really needs it. The chest piece seems to be completely clear, so that's a little bit concerning with some extra paint there on the sides too. I mean, overall, it's not a bad looking character, but let's check out vehicle mode. Oh, that is clever, yeah. Oh, that's it. Okay, cool. Wow. That is, uh, that is a pretty impressive design. I'm not gonna lie. This kind of a vehicle seems almost like something out of a futuristic, cyberpunky kind of a design. Very, uh, it's very aggressive. <laughs> and I am digging it. Definitely not something you would see out in the streets today. And it's got a very hot rodish kind of an inspiration look to it, which I definitely like. Oh, and you don't really use the round peg for the weapon, but these little notches here to the side of the peg end up inserting into these little sections here. So that's, that's different. Yeah, and on a vehicle like this, I mean, it doesn't really detract all that much from the overall look. It loses its sleekness, obviously, but that's just the gimmick, you know? It's fine, but that looks better, 100%. This is very nice, I do dig it. Don't know who it is, but it looks nice. All right, hey, two bots down. Let's open up another box. Uh, let's see. I think we're going to go with this one next. That's a pretty, uh, pretty small package here, but we do know that good things come in small packages. I think I have an idea who's in here. I think so. I won't say. Uh, yeah, that's not who I thought was going to be in here. Okay. Here we have Studio Series number 104, Nightbird from Rise of the Beasts. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little bit worried after what happened with Mirage. I don't think she's gonna have the same issues, but um, yeah, I'm a little bit traumatized. She looks pretty good though. I've already seen some very good aftermarket kits online to um, kind of expand her wings a little bit too amongst, amongst other parts. Wow, that is extremely tiny. No, that can't be how she really is, right? That's just how they packaged her, right? You have to expand some parts, right? Right? Yeah, she's got she's got a hell of a backpack though. Ah, uh, to so be expected. Come on, there we go. Okay, dude, what is what is going on here? Okay, that that's not that's not the final transformation. That can't be it. No, 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 no. All right, let's let's look at the instructions. Okay, it tells you how to fix the backpack. Which okay, you lift that part up. Oh, you rotate. You rotate. Got it. Got it. Lift up the wings. Lift up the wings? I don't see where you lift them up. Where do you lift them up at? What are we doing? Oh, you just kind of rotate this part. Got it. Does it snap into anything? I guess it snaps back here. And there you go. Yeah, that is, that is severely unimpressive. I think somebody pointed out online that her wings are actually that small in certain scenes, but I guess they grow when she goes into battle mode. I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to see it again. Nothing about the legs though. And that's what seems so diminutive about her. She doesn't seem to have any feet whatsoever. Wow, these legs are scrawny, dude. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Is that really how she's supposed to look? Is that it? Wow. I mean, parts of her look impressive. Yeah, that clear purple piece on the head does look nice. It's not something you typically see on a Transformer. It's it's a very unique design and I do like it. Very ominous. <laughs> I mean, um, the arms are fine, that's fine, but man, these legs are like, are like a bunch of nothing though. And obviously being a fembot, a lot of um, the car parts are in the backpack. And I don't know if part of it was to make sure that she was 
size compatible with the other figures from the movie. That may have something to do with it. But um, yeah, it's, I'm not really impressed with the look of the uh, of the legs altogether. And the little wings, it's like, yeah, they're really not doing a whole lot of anything back there. They have some very nice paint applications up on top. Same thing with the rims. That's a very nice chrome purple. I like that look. But I'm not sure if I'm really convinced by the overall look of this character, though. Okay, wait. There are some toes. I'm just realizing that this front section here of the foot, you can rotate it out to create a bit of a bit of a toe. So, so that's something, I guess. Okay, all of a sudden, I love this figure. It's great. That does make a little bit of a difference, but um, yeah, overall, I'm not I'm not too sure. I think I may have to take a look at the uh, the mainline version, or I don't know. I, I, <laughs> I'm kind of like. Going back and forth on these uh, Rise of the Beast characters now. All right, let's at least check out the vehicle mode. I'm pretty sure it's going to be very decent. Oh, before we do, though, uh, her weapon is a very nicely painted sword. Kind of sucks that she doesn't have two swords, but it is very nicely painted with some glossy black on it, too. Ooh, that looks very good. I do love that. I'm sure it wouldn't be too difficult at all to 3D print another one, too. Did she have two swords in the movie? I don't even remember anymore. But she seems like she should have two swords, though. All right, vehicle mode. Holy moly, that was an awesome transformation. It's a little bit finicky in the middle, but once you get things into place, they snap together very satisfyingly, and the entire vehicle mode is held together very well. I am seriously, seriously impressed by this vehicle. Look at that. That is awesome. And just look at how complete this rear section is too. You don't see anything of the robot mode. Seriously impressive. Wow, that is so good. You have the nice gold paint sticking out from the bottom, chrome purple on the rims. Just so awesome. I actually can't tell though if this is an officially licensed vehicle though. Let me check. Oh, it definitely is. It doesn't say what kind of a vehicle it is, but it does have the Nissan logo right there in the back. So I'm guessing on this vehicle as it was with uh, Mirage that the vehicle mode took priority over the bot mode. However, I have to say that this bot mode is miles above what they did with Mirage. Even though it has its shortcomings, it wasn't as bad as Mirage. And the transformation was extremely satisfying too. I love that. I'm very curious now to see what those aftermarket kits can do for the robot mode. Other than expanding the wings, if you can get the bot mode just to look a little bit better, that would just be a plus for this. I like this, I like this a lot, very good. And of course you can fit the sword into the vehicle mode. There's a little notch here right on the side and I guess you can connect it on either side of these little connections here on the bottom as well. And I think ironically enough, when you connect it, yeah, well, I guess kind of the, uh, the hilt of the sword, the handle, it kind of becomes the exhaust for the vehicle too. So even that's hitting pretty well. Seriously impressive, wow. <laughs> Not too bad, okay. Hey, you know what? I think we're gonna call it there. I think opening up three awesome figures is more than we can ask for, but we'll definitely get to the rest of them in a future video. I'll try not to wait as long to do another one. I don't wanna have too much of a backlog for the backlog, so look out for another one soon. But hey, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. You can catch me in all my updates and all the social medias, links are down below. And you can catch me live on Twitch on Fridays and the weekends, where I'm about to start an epic adventure in Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So I hope you can join me for that. But if you can, I do upload them to my second YouTube channel, Hobbies with Jose Gaming. You can also support the channel by heading over to the merch store, some great stuff there, or support for free by hitting the like and subscribe too. But I will catch you all real soon. Take care.